Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. The Jewels and Jeans 2016 fundraiser is fast approaching. Dr. Jackie Rosswarm, the Foundation for Educational Excellence Chairperson and Special Award Honoree Dr. Narin Sharma, join us to tell us about the support this event provides for innovative teacher grants to help our county students. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Welcome. So Jackie, tell our viewers about the Foundation for Educational Excellence. Well, the foundation was started in 2007, and it is to support the mission and the goals of the public schools in Beaufort County. In 2009, we began giving out innovative teacher grants, and as I told you earlier today, by the end of uh, this month, we will have given out close to $125,000 in those years. Wow. And it has all gone to teachers and schools for innovative projects that they're working on, something that is above and beyond what regular budgets support, and we're very excited about our work. Yeah, and, yeah. and should be very proud. That's, we are. Uh, 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 that's just tremendous. So this organiza organization is doing a phenomenal job supporting our schools in a positive manner. So um, Jackie, you have a special event call coming out called Jewels and Jeans. Yes, Jewels and Jeans is coming up March 5th at the Country Club of Hilton Head. I believe it's the fifth year that we've been there. You bring your jewels, you wear your jeans, you bring your cash. Uh, we have a great fun and fundraiser night. Good food, good dancing, these guys. Uh, great auction items, opportunity to fund a grant, and we also do some recognitions that night. And this is your primary fundraiser, correct, for the year? It is. Uh, we receive no other funds than those that are donated to us. So we have some private funders. We have been a recipient of the Bargain Box grant over several years, and but this event, Jewels and Jeans, is really our fundraiser for the year, yes. And so, um, what is the event about? And tell us the Peggy May Inspirational uh, Award honoree, Dr. Sharma. Obviously, congratulations you. to you, sir. Thank you. Well, one of the things that we felt as part of the fundraiser was that we needed to recognize a community member who was very supportive of our public schools um, and who has gone above and beyond in terms of their work. So we've recognized various people. Last year it was Peggy May, and at that time we did name the award the Peggy May Inspirational w Award. And so we're very excited to have Dr. Sharma for his work that he's done with the Neighborhood Outreach Connection to be our recipient this year. And so Dr. Sharma, obviously again, congratulations on the honor. Uh, what motivated you to, to develop the Neighborhood Outreach Connection, which we refer to as NOC? Well, in a nutshell, when I came to Hilton Head, I sort of discovered there are a lot of underserved neighborhoods. In <laughs> fact, all over Beaufort County in Bluffton, as well as downtown Beaufort. And clearly, a lot of these neighborhoods need a lot of support. And uh, it was a fertile ground for us to bring the organization into the neighborhood. So our mission is really to fight poverty by empowering the individual, the family, and the community. And our core activities include education for the children, mm -hmm. adult education, health screening, and workforce development. And uh, so, so Jackie, um, tell us a little bit uh, uh, the jewels and jeans. How can we get tickets? How can people support this event? We well, can go to our website, www.foundationedexcellence.com. We are a fund of the Community Foundation, so tickets can also be sought through them. But that website will get you where you need to be, and we hope to see everyone there on March 5th. March 5th. And um, Dr. Sharma, how does the future look for uh, NOC, Neighborhood Outreach Connection? I think the future is very bright for us. Uh, for one thing, we are now saving roughly about 450 mm -hmm. children. Wow. We screened last year 200 folks. And given the challenge that we face today in Beaufort County, there's roughly about four or 5,000 kid children who need help. And so our task is huge. It is the huge. The way we look at NOC right now, we are in uh, six uh, areas. Hopefully we'll expand. We would like for NOC model to be replicated. We have interest groups coming from Texas to look at our model. That's so great. the next phase of our development as we move our frontier will be to expand what we are doing in Beaufort County and to replicate this model elsewhere so that we can reach out and help more of the low-income folks, right. children who are struggling to get ahead. This investing in our children is investing in our future, and that's basically what we are doing. The teachers are doing a huge job. 
in, in NOC program that teachers come in. This yes. is why I applaud what uh, Jackie and her team are right, sort of working on right now. Exactly, it's huge, it's huge. And the teachers do, do make a lot of impact. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wonderful, sure. thank you both for joining us today. Thank you. And we thank, thank you. you so much for joining us on today's Talk of the Town.